Hello everyone, it's Melissa, the M from the M and H of Bespoke Hairstyles. Look at my hair, do you like? If you like, watch this video. Um, I'm going to try and talk you through what I've done to, to get this style basically. And the idea is quick styling, so it shouldn't take you long. And the reason why I'm showing you the hair is just so you can see what we're going to try and create. And I like taking it down for you so you kind of see the simplicity of the style. Um, I think you might need a few pins depending on how neatly you braid your hair. Um, but because I've got locks, sometimes I don't braid everything in. So when I don't braid everything in, I will not start again. I will just take those loose bits and kind of tuck in with a pin. I think that's the only thing you're going to need. Okay, so can you see what I did? I just did inverted braids. One big inverted braid to kind of the middle of my head. So you're going to try and braid it up to kind of here. Okay. Right, hair down. Hair down. And down in the direction you want it to basically fall. There might be pins in my hair. Um, I'll find them. <laughs> Um, this is the thing with 400 plus locks in your hair, sometimes there's hidden bits to it and you don't realise they are there until you touch them. Okay, so there's my hair down. So your hair needs to be in the direction you want the style to fall, in a way, in the, in the direction you need your hair to be to create the style, I'm, I'm meaning to say. And you need to know whether you want a parting or not. Do you want it? For me, I want it to my left, which is your right. Make that decision now before you start creating this stuff. There's a pin. Right, okay. So I'm going to braid, it, braid the hair up now. So lift the hair up. Make sure you kind of know, like, this is how you want it, basically. Right? And then you kind of braid it up. Now, the most natural position for Melissa to do this style is with my head way down and just braiding it up. But it's a pointless position to be in because you're not going to see what I'm doing. So I'm doing it this way so that you can see, but it means that it's not my best, it might not be my best braid, um, but it's just so you can see. And um, it is just this is just a guide for you to kind of see how to create this style. This might not necessarily literally be the style I would step out of my house with uh, because I would probably need to do certain checks to make sure it's done right. When you're doing the braid in, please remember your follicles. Your follicles come first, then the style. As I talk to you, I braid it up. I'm braiding up. I'm braiding the locks up. So I'm just taking from the left and the right and just kind of braid it up and pushing the hair away all the time so that's it pull the left in and then take a bit from the left and then pull the right in and then take from the edges more the edge is more important um, because the extra bits in the middle if you don't grab them they can still fall into place and again take the left and then braid in and then take the right and then braid in please remember please remember your follicles do not endanger your follicles the style is not that important now keep feeling to make sure that it's all kind of tucked in and you're not feeling to make sure it's tucked in to start again with you're feeling it just so that um it, you know it's neat and any extra bits just use a pin it's no big deal it's just it's just hair right here we go right and then um i hope i'm in focus and then um keep taking really now we've got to the top of where i feel we need to get to so this side i don't necessarily want to pull everything in so um, I think I'm going to leave. now this side it's important to basically make sure I've got it right and then if you feel you're pulling on your follicles just pull the hair down towards you as you hold on to it and then any short bits just 
hide it, just tuck it in. Right, okay. And so there we are. And then I'm going to take this left bit. Do you remember the parting? And I'm just going to bring it around, leaving that top bit up. and then braiding together, pushing the braid up so that it's kind of, because I want a forward motion, so it kind of acts like a headband bringing the hair together. And then I'm braiding it to the tip so it doesn't unravel. And then I'm tucking it in. And as I do that, can you see how we've done the inverted braid? I'm doing that to make it push forward and that is it for the back that's all I can do for the back now see this loose bit just tuck in right and then I have to decide what do I want to do with the front and you would have to decide that with yours and I feel like I want height so I'm going to just twist the ends now I want it neat a neat finish but I want a kind of messy look so that's what I'm trying to create a messy look and then I've tucked in that end that's just been loosely braided into the hair and then I've put the pin through it and that's it so that's what I want for this side now there's this bit and you can just play around with it and um, because hair is in unpredictable and sometimes they're just bits that you think, oh, I didn't realise they were there, and just play around with it. So as long as it's up there, I just basically want it to still kind of look messy. So I'm just going to tuck it within the hair like that, and I'm just going to pin. And that's it. Just pin, pin in, and that is it that would be the look this is the guide this is not my literal style that i necessarily would go out with but well, actually i would it's quite nice yeah and then accessorize yeah no i would go out with this um and that's it i hope you like it and i hope you find it quite easy to create because that's the idea quick styling Te within 10 minutes you can do this i'm sure you can let me know how it goes and whether this the way I demonstrate whether it helps you to style your hair well enough um, and if, whether you've gained confidence or just share your experience. That's what this is about. It's about helping you to enjoy your hair the natural way, basically, with just your hands. Thank you so much for watching this video blog. Stay connected. There's going to be more styles. Every time I have a style that I think I love and I think you would enjoy wearing and it's quick to do, I'll come and do a video posting and share it with you. Thank you very much, everyone. Take care. Bye. Thank you. Bye.